Hello everyone, welcome to PhD Academy. Hope you all are fine. So today we are going to start our lecture that is introduction to public finance. Today we are going to learn about public finance. Then what is public finance? Public finance is basically it's all about you know how government manage their money. Just like families prepare a budget for their income and expenses, government also make money. They collect money, spend it for the welfare of people, and sometimes borrow when their income is not enough. So start with the first slide, that is, what is public finance? Public finance is the study of how income, how governments raise money and how they spend it. Like, for example, uh, like governments collect taxes from citizens, and that money is then used to provide services like schools, hospitals, and roads. The main goal of public finance is to keep the economy stable and to meet the needs of the people. Importance of public finance. Public finance, uh, then why public finance is important? Just think about it. Because it plays many roles. First, it provides public goods and services like roads, electricity, and hospitals. Secondly, it helps reduce inequality, which is the most important concept. Because the rich people pay more taxes and that money is used to support the poor people. Third is it controls inflation and unemployment by adjusting government spending and tax. And finally, it supports long-term economic growth through investment in education and infrastructure. So main components of public finance. Let's talk about it. Public finance has more four main components. Number one, that is public revenue. This is the money collected by the government through taxes and non tax sources. Number two is public expenditure. This is how the government spends money, like on education, health, or defense. Number three, public debt. This happens when government is spending is greater than income, so they borrow money. Number four is financial administration. This means making the budget, collecting revenue, controlling expenditure, and auditing accounts. Together, these four, four parts explain how governments handle money. Now, let's talk about each of them. Like first is public revenue. Public revenue, as I explained, that public revenue is the income of the government, basically. So there are two types of taxes. First, direct tax, and the second, that is indirect tax. What is direct tax? Direct tax, that is directly paid, like such as income tax, which people pay from their salaries. Indirect taxes, like sales tax, which we pay when buying goods. Second, non tax revenue, such as fees, fines, and profits from government companies. This revenue helps the Government provides services for citizens. Second is public expenditure. Public expenditure means the money spent by the government. For example, on you know social services like teachers and schools and doctors and hospitals, on infrastructure such as roads, airports, and electricity, on defense and police to protect the country. And on the welfare programs like uh, subsidies for food or housing. All of this spending improves the quality of life for people. Now, let's talk about public debt. Sometimes the government spends more than it earns. To cover the gap, it borrows money, and this is called public debt. There are two main types. First is internal debt, and the second one is external. Internal debt, let's talk about it. When the government borrows from banks or citizens within the country, that is internal. What is external debt? When the government borrows from other countries or international institutions like the IMF or World Bank. Debt can also be short term or long term. Debt is necessary, uh, but too much debt can cause problems as well. Now, financial administration. What does it mean? Financial administration is about how the government manages money. It 
tools preparing the budget, selecting taxes, selecting revenue, controlling expenditures, and auditing accounting. Good financial administration makes sure that money is used properly and anonymously without corruption. It ensures people money is spent on the welfare of the society. Now, let's talk about the conclusion of whole big work. In conclusion, public finance is government money management. It explains how governments collect money, how they spend it, how they borrow when necessary, and how they manage it responsibly. Without proper public finance, a country cannot provide services on maintain stability. So, public finance is essential for development and for the welfare of society. Thank you so much.